Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a little something different and as you can see these are the new LOL uh, blind ball I guess and um, these are really like brand new. I found this at Target and obviously it's series one and uh, I'm just gonna do a little unballing. They have like a million layers of wrapping. Just look for where the zipper is and then it has those little holes that you can kind of just rip through. So you can see on the first layer of wrapping that it says seven layers of surprise. I completely missed the word layer and uh, the first layer has the secret message which we can see over here and the message is lemon cat. Second thing is collectible stickers as you can see is here and then we're expecting to get a bottle, shoes, outfit, accessory and then finally the doll. The packaging on these is really cute. It says, let me out of here on one side. I hope that's not the cup talking. And then the other side just has the logo on there. And it is a coffee cup, but it's also kind of like a sippy cup, which I think is actually really funny and pretty cute. Here are her shoes. They're little white shoes with black socks. The outfit is the next layer, and it is underneath this round cap. And then here's the outfit itself. It looks like sort of like an athletic top with a sweater wrapped around. Here's the back of the outfit, which is a very interesting shape. It's pretty much just like a plastic thing that you wrap around the doll. It's not really cloth. I would have loved for it to be cloth, but I don't think that's going to happen in blind box type toys. The next step is to open it, and this is what it looks like. So there's this very interesting look to the inside. You can see it's kind of like decorated like furniture, sort of. Here's the guy that comes inside the bubble thing, and it tells you the different uses that you can get out of the bubble itself, which I personally think is a really cool idea. So the bathtub is this one. So you can see it's kind of decorated with a little bubble pattern. And then you can use it as a doll stand, which is the bathtub flipped around. You can use it as a hangout, which is this one. And then when you close it up and attach the handle that's included, you can use it as a purse, which I honestly find this to be a really ingenious idea. Nothing goes to waste and you get so many uses out of it. The other side is the actual guide to the figures themselves. And I can tell already, judging from the outfit that I got this girl over here, and finally, we arrive at the last bag with the doll in it, which is the only one that should be talking. <laughs> and here's the little baby next to the illustration. Uh, kind of weird, she was packaged twice. So here's what the little baby looks like with her outfit on. And she looks pretty good from the front. You can see there's even a little hole uh, right under her top. So I guess it's like a crop top. The awkward thing about these, though, is uh, when you flip them around, the clothes don't really go on all the way because of the material. You can see also all the detail that went into her hair. It's actually pretty cool. So really appreciate that. She also has a little hole that you insert her sunglasses into. Okay, so I just tried to fill up her tub with water to try out this bath thing. But um, it's got holes in it, so that's a little bit awkward. I inspected the doll closer and I found these little holes on her eyes. You can see the white dot at the top and then under that is another little dot. So I guess water is going to come out of there, maybe. And then uh, spits, we got this hole in there. So not only does the sippy cup in there, but water comes out of there. A little weird feature to put on a toy for little kids. She's got a hole under there too, so that's how she tinkles. Uh, I found this feature a little bit weird. I would probably get rid of this entire thing because I think the little... Um, fashion aspect of it is enough for these to sell. I also think the clothes should be fabric instead of plastic if at all possible. I know that's a little bit of a reach. And then the only other downside of these toys, so much trash, so many layers of trash. Otherwise they are really cute. There's a lot of different things you can do with them and a lot of different ways to display them. Kids can actually get some play out of these. They're not just going to sit there on the shelf like most other blind box figures. She includes a set of instructions. So you can see how the doll works. And then this one shows you, you can insert the handle onto the bubble and use it as a purse. Or you can stand her on the top like so and use it as a stand. I also found out that the color change aspect doesn't work on all the dolls and it's at certain temperatures and it gets really complex and specific. And I think that's kind of too much for uh, toys for little kids. Uh, this step number nine, didn't really understand it either. I think what they wanted you to get to is uh, something like this. But the doll does not sit with the clothes on. She does have those four joints. Uh, five if you count the head which goes up and down which is really nice. And I love those four joints for a toy this small. That's really nice. 
but um, she cannot sit while she's wearing the clothes because again they are plastic. Um, you can still sit her in there, it'll still be cute, she just will be naked. The drink goes in this little hole right there, which is pretty cute. It's a cute toy, just um, I think it could be better. I think they should get rid of all the, the water play, I don't think that's necessary. Um, and I think they could uh, put that little extra effort into the material used for the clothes. The designs are really nice, I would have loved to see these designs for the brats. I would have bought them more, but um, now we get this. And uh, that's about it. For anybody who's wondering, I found this at Target. They retail for $7.99. Series 1 is out, and I hope it helped you make a decision if you like them or not. These are going to be nice, especially if you like the Bratz kids and Bratz babies, obviously. And um, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!